Hey everybody, it's Brad. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Perfect Embroidery Pro and WordArt and Stitches together to add uh, custom shapes to your bubble text library. Uh, and by that, I mean you can click on the bubble text icon and it'll show up in this list here of uh, different shapes that you can use uh, to bring in your designs and fill them with with the bubble text. Um, the uh, this method only works if you own Perfect Embroidery Pro. Okay, you can't do it this way if you've got Masterworks or Floriani Total Control U or some other digitizing program. If you don't have Perfect Embroidery Pro, then um, I I made a, another video. It's the one right before this one um, that shows you how to import uh, one shape at a time. Um, so, uh, but I'm going to show you how to how to bring in uh, designs to your library. So you start off by going to Perfect Embroidery Pro. So we'll open that up. Um, in Perfect Embroidery Pro. Uh, you're going to use your backdrop tool. So we're just going to left click on the backdrop tool and you pick what shape or what uh, design picture that you want to use to, to trace. I'm going to do this snowflake. So we're going to left click on the snowflake and choose open uh, and it brings it up. Now we have to trace this snowflake and in Perfect Embroidery Pro the way that you do that uh, is you're going to go up and click on your artwork tool uh, and then click on the magic wand tool and then we're just going to left click somewhere on the inside of our design and it'll automatically trace it. Um, now you can't really tell that that happened uh, because it traces it, in, uh, it with a really thin line but if I go in and select it and move it you can see that I've got this artwork line here um, and that is the line that we're going to save. So with this instead of exporting the artwork like we would in another program we actually are going to save this file as a special type of, of file, it's a library file. Uh, you're going to go up to your file menu, choose save as, and under here you're going to choose save as type. The type of file you're going to choose is a library file, LDF, that's this one right here. So we're going to left click on that, um, and then we need to save it in the library folder for WordArt in Stitches. Okay, but by default, this is going to open up in the library folder for Perfect Embroidery Pro. So what we have to do is actually go up a couple levels by see this little folder with a green arrow on it. We're going to click up one level, and then up one level again. All right, and now we're in this folder that has the you know your different um, designs, machine embroidery programs. We're going to click on WordArt and Stitches, Library, uh, and then Bubble Text and then <laughs> shapes okay and then you can create your own folder in here um, I was just playing with this earlier I made one called test um, but I'm gonna make a new one that is gonna be for my own personal designs so uh, I'm gonna click on create new folder here and um, uh, one way that you can do it is if you uh, to make it easy to find your folder if you start with uh, the letter Z um, and then put in like say your name Okay, uh, you'll see why I'm, I put in the letter Z in a second. Uh, so, um, anyway, you're going to name your folder, uh, or not your folder, you're going to name your file something, I'll, I'll call mine Snowflake. Snowflake, and hit save, that's in my ZBrad folder. Um, okay, so now we go to Word Art and Stitches here, click on the bubble text icon, and hit the little dot 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 ellipsis thing. And if we look, my folder, because I named it to start with a Z, is going to be the last one. So it's just easy to find. I don't have to like, look through a whole list of things. Just click on that. Uh, there's my snowflake. Hit OK. Uh, and there we go. So that is now a shape that's in my library. I don't have to import it every single time. It's just always going to be there. So um, that, like I said, it only works with Perfect Embroidery Pro. Um, but if you've got that then you can build an entire library of um, of shapes that you can add the the bubble text to thanks for watching see you in the next video